Hello world! So, um, it's really early in the morning. I was gonna do this video last night, but I got back later than expected. So, I went to Kyoto this past weekend, uh, the 17th and the 18th, um, for a company trip. And I wanted to show you what I got. So, let's start with food. So, um, apparently there's lots of vegan, like little vegan foods all over Kyoto. Um, and I'm going to start with the easiest one to find, which is Yatsuhashi. So these are Yuko. This one's Yuzu flavor. This one's for me. So I'm going to open it. So this is what it looks like. It's, um, like the uh, the outside of this one is plain and the inside the filling is yuzu um yuzu paste yeah basically that's yuzu paste mixed with white uncle and um these things are delicious they come in lots of different flavors i only got three i got the yuzu like i just said um the original which is cinnamon and has red anko in it and the kurogoma which is flavored like black uh, sesame seeds um, and has regular anko in it I'm pretty sure um, and there's a few other flavors like strawberry and matcha um, that are also vegan they have lots of different flavors they're not all vegan so read the ingredients on the back check like chocolate isn't vegan the coffee one is um banana isn't like it, it depends so please check but lots of them are vegan they're super easy to find in kyoto and they are delicious <laughs> so after that i got food this one is flavored this one is red pepper flavor so it has paprika and togarashi in it and is surprisingly spicy for those of you that don't know what food is it's um basically flour gluten like wheat gluten and magic um it tastes like croutons kind of but unflavored usually it's not flavored um, but I found these uh, they had four flavors in the shop um, the shop is foo 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 and <laughs> um, and three of the four flavors were vegan the only one that wasn't was the cheese but or, no five flavors they also had the plain obviously the plain one is vegan and these are great they're delicious I was eating them slowly because they're really spicy but I was eating them I also got yuba dried yuba which I haven't tried yet but looks super good um, yuba is tofu skin um, so like in theory it should be vegan right it isn't always depending on what dashi it's cooked in but this is not cooked and doesn't have anything in it except for tofu that's the only ingredient Is the only ingredient if you can catch that um, but I have tried it cooked before this is dried so you can just put it in soup and it'll um, go back to normal but it's really good I really like it it's just it tastes like tofu but sliced super thin so that's what I got from that shop I also got some shijimi and ichi no these are ichimi this one is black ichimi and this one is yuzu ichimi and they are on fire like hold on let me show you the um their the company's logo this uh is a really accurate representation 
of what will happen after you try this. Um, it really is on fire. It was a lot spicier than I expected. I put a little bit of it on a sweet potato and I put way too much, way too much. Um, but it's super famous in Kyoto and was really interesting. So I got some. And moving on to the whole reason why I was excited about going to Kyoto. Volks! Tenshi no Sato is there and I made a reservation. I put in for a reservation all the way back in September. And um, I didn't think I was going to be able to go because plans changed a lot, but plans changed again and I was able to go. I didn't place a full choice system order like was the original goal, but uh, because now I'm looking for a DRSD Una to be my third um, F1. But I did get um, Hitagi the hands that I wanted, the HO3. You can only get sunlight option parts at Tenshi no Sato, as I found out the hard way after ordering her. So I was able to pick up those and I picked up some YoSD hands because I would like to have a YoSD someday, but I don't know when I'm going to go back to Kyoto. And this is the easiest, cheapest way of finding YoSD option parts. So I got the HO3 because I love those hands so much. And I got the HO4, the hand holding hands. They are super cute. So yeah, that's all that I got at Volks. I actually, on my way home, I stopped by Akihabara and I'm not gonna show you what I got there cause I've already put it away. But um, I actually didn't buy anything at Volks. I planned to and then I didn't, but that's okay. Um, I also got some coffee, but it is a present for someone, so I'm not really going to show it for to you because if I do, that person that does watch these videos will definitely know that it's for them and it'll ruin the surprise. But we found an interesting coffee shop in Kyoto Eki. Uh, I also got a, another kind of Yatsuhashi. So Yuko is soft. It has like, um, it, it has a soft doughy texture, but um, this Yatsuhashi is more like um, semi-circle shaped cookies. I, I don't want to open it, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, these are in the cinnamon flavor, but they also had matcha and kurogoma at that shop. And there was one more thing that me and my senpai really wanted to get, but we couldn't find it after the first time that we saw it and didn't buy it. But um, all of the, the matcha, this one obviously, and the kurogoma of these were all vegan. The coffee was also vegan. And there were several other flavors that I did not check, but at least those four flavors are vegan and delicious. And you can find them all over the place in Kyoto. I also really wanted to go to a kimono shop while I was there because it's Kyoto. Why would you, you want to go to a kimono shop? And I found one randomly when we were um, wandering um, just outside of just outside of Niski Chiba, and I got a date jime with a new pattern. It's the same color as the one that I'm using now, but it's a different pattern. And I was able to get a howdy, which I've been looking for anyway. Ignore that, I'm cooking. So I got this howdy. It doesn't match um, the color scheme that I usually go for but it had cats on it and was super cute and a really good price and not silk. Most importantly, not silk. <clears throat> Neither is the date jime, which is quite a challenge. But yeah, now I can survive the Hokkaido winter in kimono. But yeah, it's cute little cats.
it's very cute so yeah that's basically all that I got in Kyoto I got um, lots of tea from the hotel but I don't want to get that because it's over there um, and I also stopped by um, like really close to the kimono shop was this uh, secondhand anime stuff store and I got some clear files I got two uh, four one of them was a gochiosa set and the other one was uh, um, Zuto Maya Kara Suki Deshita one. And I also got a ski tea. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at all the Kyoto awesomeness. And see you again next week for Christmas presents, probably. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>